Okay. Hello, friends. Welcome to the channel Physics by ITNs. Today, we are with our guest, uh, Ramo Prashadaduk, Dr. Ramo Prashadaduk. He is an assistant professor under West Bengal State University. So, he has pursued his research in high energy physics and then he also has uh, done his postdoc. And we will learn something from his experience and his uh, experiences through the research, through the pro. Uh, through his PhD journey. So let's start. So, sir, welcome to the channel. Welcome, okay, yes. Uh, sir, we have a question that why you have chosen PhD, not anything else? So, it's, you know, the PhD is the highest degree in the academy. So, but uh, many people dream of doing something other than PhD. But I choose PhD particularly, I dream to do a PhD in physics also. So, from my childhood, I first uh, do my uh, board examination, then I decided to do a graduation in physics. Then I think that, okay, I can do a master's in physics. After master's, I figured out that I can do a PhD. And to do a PhD, that to work hard the back then I got a PGC uh, fellowship GRF uh, fellowship then I joined the P and after uh, studying that what are the current trends at that time then I decided to join the high energy physics field and from my uh, I have a passion on doing some R&D on detectors. So I choose particularly detector development. Okay. So other question? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. So, sir, can you tell some current trends in high energy field research so that our students can understand? Yes. Uh, in today's day, the India is also a member of the R&D research and development of the detectors which are used in the experiments like the LHC, you know the LHC experiment, the ALICE experiment. So there are some experiments in the BNL Group of National Laboratory. These are the famous laboratories in the abroad or international laboratories. There are still uh, many laboratories in China, in Japan, in Germany, and in other countries. Uh, but in today, uh, in this in this uh, last year, India has joined some major projects uh, which are particularly developing some detectors for the experiment. Uh, say the ALICE experiment. For the ALICE experiment, India, India is doing uh, R&D of uh, the time projection chamber, a particular detector for uh, detecting the particles. Also, India is a major collaborator of the compressed baryonic matter experiment. So this is a future experiment. So it will be held on the Germany in Germany. And it is a so India will build a large part of the detector of this huge experiment. So particularly in the future I think that uh, the career in research and development in detector is also very important. And I think there are many scopes of a job and also uh, this is a growing field, I think. Okay, sir, we understand the things you have told and instructed. And one thing I want to know that what are your suggestions for the students that they should do or they shouldn't do to pursue research as their career? Of course, uh, a student uh, that doing a master's degree, of course, uh, he or she will go for the PhD, particularly if he she has some passion uh, to do a PhD. Some people thought that only the theoretical PhD is a good one, but in these days, the experimental R&D in material science, in high energy physics, or any other physics. Uh, so this is very vital, particularly for the job, and also there is a industrial aspect also because you can get a job in the industry also. So 
definitely a student uh, with a master's degree in phd should work hard to do a phd from a prestigious institute with a good fellowship okay so for that we have to study and uh, i mean we should yeah. put all the focus for cracking examinations and entrances to be eligible yes, for sir. the phd selection yes. in a good institute okay sir thank you for giving your pre precious time we thanks a lot yeah. thank you sir thank you thank you okay, okay. bye bye